extension and flexion. We're going to extend the spine by lifting the tailbone and the chin. Big breath into the chest. And then we're going to curl the tailbone and the chin underneath, flexing the spine and rounding the back, pushing the floor away. This is our cat, okay, like a scared cat. Okay, and then we go inhale into the chest and the belly, tailbone and chin rise. Exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Make sure you engage those abs. Exhale, all that air. Inhale again. And exhale again. One more of these. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, we're just going to progress the movement. We're going to hit our child's pose by pushing the hips back to the heels. And then we're going to hinge forward, maintaining same position with the knees and the hands into our cobra pose or upward dog, kind of an in-between, a high cobra. Okay, my glutes are squeezed, my front of my pelvis is off the mat, so that way I'm not sagging in that low back too much and I'm supporting myself in my arms, pulling my shoulder blades back. Hinge into the hips, exhale at the back, inhale in the front. Let's cruise through a few of these. Go at your own pace here, but don't go too slow. We want to be able to get at least five, six, eight reps in, in the one minute. Last one, inhale. Glutes squeezed, belly button pulled in, chest lifted, arms pushing down long. Exhale, back to our child's pose. And then we're just going to progress into a downward dog, upward dog. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, bend the knees. Now arch the back, try to straighten that spine. Okay, that's our down dog, we shift forward, hands and toes stay in the same position, glutes get tight as I lift up and push away from the floor, upward dog, big stretch in the neck, exhale, push back into downward dog, inhale, glutes tight, belly hold in and up, lifting the chest, neck and chin, exhale back. Exhale back, inhale forward, and relax down to the floor. Okay, shake the wrists out if you want. You can go fists for wrists on this one to straighten out the wrist. That'll take that stress out of the joint there if that's bugging you at all. Same thing, we're going to go through three minutes, three exercises. Cat cow first, inhale, exhale. Feel it more in your upper back, more stiffness and more tension, then focus on moving that part of your spine more. Exaggerate and isolate. If it's the low part, focus on popping the booty back and really controlling tucking under with the tailbone. Got some sweat in my eyes. Okay, work through this position, whatever feels the best. You can add a little bit of movement play on this second round. Last one. And we're going to go into child's pose with our upward dog, our seal kind of position here, pushing the floor away, glutes tight, save the low back here, don't kink the spine. Expanding the diaphragm and lungs. Bigger and bigger breaths. One more. You can bring the feet together here for tadpole. Really squeeze the hamstrings and glutes. Exhale back, child's pose. We're going to go right into upward dog, downward dog. Free to drop to the knees here if that feels more comfortable, if this is a little difficult. And it's a little bit longer than you think once you start to get a little fatigued, so stick with the focus. Keep 
your attention on your movements and your breath. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. You can do this barefoot if you want. You can come up on the tops of the feet with your upward dog. Feel free to play here. Last one. Come down. That's our first sequence. We're going to go right into our second sequence of three exercises. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? First one's wagging dog. So now we're working lateral flexion of the spine. We're trying to touch our armpit to the side of our pelvis. Like we're wagging our tail back and forth. Okay, let your glute really push out to the side. Get a big stretch as you squeeze the other side closer together like an accordion. Crunch the accordion on one side as you bow the stretch and open up this part of the lat and the glute on the other side. You can get the head involved, turn and look around your shoulder, look back at your feet, sway the hips from side to side. Last one to the right. And then we are going to go back into that child's pose, toes together, feet apart. Excuse me, toes together, knees apart. Okay, hips back to the heels, we push back. Now from here we're going to go side to side, same idea, exaggerating that lateral stretch. Opening up that side body, you're going to really feel this one in the lats. As I reach here, I'm opening up this space, getting a big stretch through my side body. Just keep cruising back and forth. Inhaling as we transition, exhaling as we reach. Letting that armpit sink to the ground on the exhale. One more each way. And then we are going to go into a side plank with a hip drop. So we're going to be in a high plank position here. We're going to rotate the feet and let one hip drop down to the side. Now same idea, we're trying to open and stretch side body while we compress and shorten the other side body. So we can drop the hip to the ground to regress and relax, or we can keep hip off the ground to increase more stretch and increase the demand of shoulder stability here. We twist the hips, come back through. I'm going to face the other way as you see it from the back. Big stretch here through this bottom glute, through the IT band. You can use the other arm to support if needed. Hang out for a little bit of a stretch. Twist to the other side. Back and forth here, getting a few reps each side. You can play around with the foot position. You can lift the foot off the ground if you want. Open up a little bit more. And we're going to go back to our wagging dog, okay? On all fours, vertical thigh bones, vertical arm bones. Wagging the tail side to side. Exhale when we crunch. Inhale as we twist and transition. Lean those hips to one side. Get a big glute stretch. Free to get the arms involved a little bit here. Change the position of the spine, maybe arch the back a little bit. One more to the right, one more to the left. Leaning over. Find where those little spots are for you. Oh, there it is in the hip. Okay, now big toes touching, knees apart. Sit the heels and hips back as we open up the lats going from side to side. Armpits down, chest down, fold to the floor. Inhale as we transition, exhale as we reach. Keep that pace moving, exhaling and inhaling smoothly.
one more to the right, one more to the left. Back to the center, high plank with a hip drop. Twisting, big stretch, push down through this glute as we lift up through the shoulder and the arm. Get that nice stretch on the side body, on the part of the hips. Usually a very tight spot for people that sit and or do a lot of running. That IT band area, quadratus laborum, low back, external rotators, piriformis, medius. Just saying a bunch of muscle names. He sounds smart. You can get a little down dog just to stretch those hamstrings a little bit. Find out what works for you. I like to call it cleaning house. Everybody's house is dirty in a different spot. Some people it's the kitchen, some people the dining room, but wherever your house is dirty, spend time cleaning it there. You don't need to clean a clean room, clean the dirty room. Okay, find those areas in your body that need a little extra love. Okay, we just did extension and flexion, lateral flexion, what are we missing? rotation that's our third plane okay this is going to be a three-step sequence again one two three one two three we're going to start off with spinal circles quadruped as we did for the other ones and we're just going to work a hula hoop motion sucking the belly button in passing through that cat position pushing out to the side kind of like our wagging dog then we drop down here's our cow Put our wagging dog on the other side stretch on one rib cage shorten on the other and then we suck up and in and pass back through that cat we're just making big slow motion hula hoop circles, rotating the spine. We're gonna go one more this way. And then rotate directions. Big circles here, exaggerate. You can even get a little elbow bend in there if you want. Let's go one more. We are going to go to our T-spine rotations, okay? So we're going to sit back on the heels, just like the other two. And now this time, from our child's pose, we're going to do a T-spine rotation. Level one, hand goes on the rib cage, hand over the heart, okay? Pledge of Allegiance. Now from here, we're going to drop the elbow down to the floor as we rotate the rib cage. And then as I come up and away, I'm going to pull this shoulder blade behind me as I keep this hand here on the chest, I'm just activating that scapula, I'm retracting the scapula, pulling it into the spine as I push away with that long arm on the floor. And I rotate back down, push away, pull that shoulder blade on the top side. One more here. Switch sides, same thing. Hand goes down, other side of the rib cage. Elbow points to the floor as we twist in. Elbow points to the sky as we twist out. Shouldn't be moving the low back here. This should be all the middle of the back. Notice it's not a big rotational movement. Last one here. Okay, and then the third one on this is going to be a high plank with a twist and reach. Okay, so as opposed to dropping the hips, we're gonna reach the other arm up and above. So we're going to start plank position, and then I want you to reach up and away. Notice I'm not going to the sides of my feet here. I don't want the pelvis to rotate too much, just like the last drill. Rotate open from the upper back. Pull the shoulder blade back. Pull the arm back. Open the chest, and try to keep a level pelvis for the most part. It'll rotate a little. That's okay. One more to the left, and we'll go through this again. First one is our hula hoops. Vertical arm bones, vertical thigh bones. You can get a little belly wave in here this time. Pulling the belly button up and into the rib cage. Massaging the organs, stretching the diaphragm. warmer you get the faster you can move notice that I'm increasing my speed a little bit as I start to increase core temperature tissue pliability 
I start to get a little sweaty. I rotate a direction switch if you haven't already. One more circle, and then we are going into our child's pose position, big toes together, knees apart, hand in front. We can go rib cage or level two. We can go trap or ear, neck here. Make sure that we're not cranking on the neck. Make sure you've got the tricep range of motion, mobility to get the arm back here. Same idea, just a progress range of motion. We come down, and then we reach sky high. As I push my hips back to my heels, I lift my elbow up to the ceiling. Push away with this down arm. Switch sides. Last one. High plank with our twist and reach. Definitely better range of motion this time. Still going smooth. Focusing on my form. spine and shoulders and hips will thank me later. 10 seconds left. Keep pushing through. One more to the left. And down. Okay, guys. We got one more sequence of three. Okay, number one, half kneeling flexion extension. Number two, half kneeling lateral flexion. Number three, half kneeling rotation. So now we're going to do all three planes in one sequence from the same base position, okay? So half kneeling, I've got a 90 degree angle on the front knee, 90 degree angle on the back knee, top of the foot or kickstand with the toes up to you. Okay, make sure that I've got a nice glute engagement here, tucking the pelvis under to get a nice good hip extension. Make sure I'm stretching this quad and stabilizing this pelvic low back girdle, okay? From here, we're gonna work extension and flexion of the spine. We're gonna start with level one, grabbing the torso, just moving the spine, no arms, okay? Chin down, round elbow down as we exhale. Inhale up and away. Glutes tight here, squeeze that back glute and do not let the low back arch excessively. We're trying to lift the neck and rib cage. Same idea here, don't overly round from the low back, just get a nice stretch through the top part of the spine. Next one, we're gonna go lateral flexion, side to side. Switch my grip here. We're just tipping over like I'm pouring water out my ear. Anybody that's used a neti pot will know what's up. So feel differences here, tightness on one side versus the other, especially depending on what leg is forward, what side is dominant. This is one of my favorites. Lateral flexion is one of the most neglected movements of the spine. Last one. Okay, then we're going to go rotation. Okay, belly button tight. Don't move the hips. Squeeze the, the belly button in tight and just twist the upper body. Not going to get a ton of rotation. Okay, we're just working upper body rotation. Breath in at neutral, exhale the whole time while you twist.
Okay, we're gonna switch legs for the second set through. We're gonna add the arms, okay? Same idea, we're just progressing the movement. Squeeze the glute, lift the chest and chin. Arms don't have to go far back to feel an extra stretch here. And then we exhale, come down, arms reach behind as we tuck the chin. Bind at the top and the bottom with the hands if you want to and if you have the mobility you don't have to do this part just a little extra pull into that stretch last one in the front then we are going side to side one arm reaches down to the floor other arm up to the sun Touch the finger if you can get there. If not, don't worry. It will come in time. It's much less about moving the pelvis and much more about controlling the movement of the spine and keeping the belly button pulled in the whole time. You can add a little bit more of a side bend and reach across the body with the arm if that feels like you're getting a better stretch there. Most of the time you can just reach straight up and feel the same stretch. One more each way. Side bending on this one. And back neutral this time. Twisting with the arms out. Big breath in. more each way. Okay, so that is our four sequences for all three planes of the spine. Extension, flexion, lateral flexion, and rotation. Now we're going to do a full body spinal circle to get all of the parts moving at the same time. Hopefully you guys can still see me in the camera here. We've got a wide stance here, soft bend in the knees, toes pointed out just slightly. You're going to want a strong wide base for good balance, so find a good appropriate position here, almost like a horse stance or a straddle stance where we've got the ability to shift the weight in the legs and move freely from this position without losing our stability, our balance. Okay, we're going to start with no arms. Start from the top of the spine, and as we start to mobilize and get into this position, we'll incorporate more and more and more and more of the spine as we increase the size of our circles. Small circles from the head all the way down to big circles from the base, okay? So we're gonna add the arms at the very end, a couple other progressions, but go as slow and smooth as you want here. It's one of my favorite things to do for opening up the spine, but you have to be ready for it. So make sure you're warmed up first, and then go slow circles in the beginning. Okay, so we're just going to start making a funnel shape with our body, with our spine. We're going to dip forward just from the upper spine. Notice I'm still maintaining tension in the abs to keep my lower spine vertical and stabilized. I'm just moving my rib cage around in a circle on top of my spine. It can be even smaller than that. It can be just the neck. Okay, with maybe a little shoulder sway. If that's where you feel it the most, hang out there. I just had a big back day, 
So I can really feel it right here. So hang out there. Where your body needs it, it will tell you with the sensations you're feeling. So listen to your body and act accordingly. So now we've been going the same direction for about a minute. Let's reverse directions. Strong legs driving out, but notice my upper body is very relaxed. as exaggerative as, as you want here as long as it feels comfortable there's no pain make sure that you're not excessively changing position in that low spine as you come back squeeze the glutes drive tension out into the legs to stabilize the base so you can make a good rotation there while you're in extension okay let's reverse directions again this time little bigger circle and we're going to do one circle and then reverse the other direction. Use the momentum that you create to swing you back the other way through a full circle. Once you're back in the front, use the momentum again to swing back the other way to create that upward drive that will take you through the rest of that circle and then let gravity just dangle you down in the a nice stretch through the shoulders and the upper back. Get a little bit more arm action involved. Notice my arms are still ragdoll, still dead weight. And now for the second to last minute, I'm going to increase the usage of my arms by bringing them up over the top. Way bigger stretch here. Be careful. Make sure you're ready for that. Opening up like you're the sun rising and then the sun setting all the way through. Back up the other way. Open the chest and the armpits. Pull the belly button and the glutes in tight. Keep that low back straight as we pass through. Add your own personal kicks here, depending how the spine feels, where you're liking this the most. You can increase the speed a little bit. A little bit of a capoeira feel if anybody is familiar with the martial arts. It's a Brazilian form of dancing martial arts. Very flowy, very open and twisty like so. Okay, now we're going to add the leg for the last minute. We're going to actually come up on one leg as we pass through. and stretch. We're making a big stretch of tension through this side body from the foot all the way to the hand. And then we just swing back through and open. Find tension, lift the foot, reach, and then use the momentum to pass back through the other side. Momentum, lift, reach. One more circle each way. Lift and reach. Last one. And bring it down slow. And just hang out in the bottom for a minute. Hands can come to the knees or to the floor. Tuck the chin down and try to touch the back of your head to the mat, if that makes sense. Relax the muscles in the back of the neck. 